Right then, so we're continuing with this one. So let's have a look at part C. So what does part C want us to do? So C says, find the position vector when it's traveling parallel to the unit vector I. So I need something generally in terms of time t, and then I can work out. So remember, if it's traveling parallel to I, the J component is zero. That's what I'm saying, isn't it? Yeah. So I need my general equation. I remember as well, the position vector just tells you where it is, whereas the velocity vector tells you which direction it's going. So I need a general velocity equation. Right, so uh, I can use V equals U plus AT. So my velocity is my initial, which was 5 minus 2, plus my acceleration, which is a half or 0 0.4, times by t. So my velocity equation is 5 plus a half of t, and minus 2 plus 0 0.4 t, there. Right then, so, parallel to the i... means that the j component is equal to zero. So minus two plus 0.4t is zero. 0.4t is two. And then t is two over 0.4. Uh, is that gonna give us five seconds now? Five seconds, there we go. Now that's given me the time, but now I wanna find the position vector. So I need to sub it into, let's have a look. So I've got all the information already. Uh, I've not got the V, so I'm going to use S equals UT, or R equals UT, you know, for being really, really technical, because we've got the initial place, we've got the R naught value, but it's zero, zero, so we're ignoring it. Uh, so what was that then? So that's going to be five minus two times by 5 seconds, plus a half times 0 0.5 and 0 0.4, times by 5 squared. And if it, did, if it did have a different position vector, we'd add it on at the end if it was started off somewhere else. So the top line would be 5 times 5, plus a half times 0 0.5 times 5 squared. Or if it's worth me just writing that out, just to remind you. So 5 times 5 plus a half of 0 0.5 times 5 squared. And the bottom line is minus 2 times 5, plus a half of 0 0.4 times 5 squared. So my R value is really what it should be, because we're given that initial position vector. And I might have been going on about that quite a lot. It gives me 31.25 and minus 5. So it's... 31.25 across and 5 down. There you go. Right, so that's that question done. There's a question for you on the next page, uh, which I will reveal. Please do these while you're doing the vids and doing the lilac packs and revising for everything. I'm trying to get too stressed. There we go. And then we've got some consolidation questions to do in class. Right, well done, everybody. See you later. Bye.